Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be looking at the Illusion ROM for the Galaxy S3. We're going to be doing a review on it, so basically let's just get into it guys. So to prove it is 4.2.2 Jelly Bean, we should go through settings and as you can see here, it shows 4.2.2 Jelly Bean and the Illusion version is 4.2.2 and it's in beta guys. So starting off, we sh are on the home screen right here, so let's just jump into settings by going there. So basically, the main um, idea of this theme is the key line pi theme as you can see here all you have to do is that and apply you start off with this plain theme but to get all the fun going you have to go on that this theme right here so apply it and as you can see we get some um a nice wallpaper very minimal we'll just go into illusion wallpapers and see what they give you inside so you get this this one this one this one going next we get this and that so pretty um pretty normal overall going to here you can see they have a nice person there everything's been kind of retouched we have a nice uh, jelly bean type logo right here going to settings this is where all the fun happens as you can see when I clicked on settings you get that nice effect so go to, let's go to settings then as you can see you can turn on the dark UI if you want dark uh, applications but they are already dark so that doesn't really matter let's go to interface and privacy guard so you can manage which apps have access to your personal data so like if you want them to access your contacts you can have that so it's very nice it's like iOS ish I guess so going down to general we get display we can modify our CRT animations by going to CRT screen off or CRT animation mode so if we go it's horizontal right now so this is what it'll look like but if we go to CRT uh, vertical it'll go that way so that's a very nice touch and then going to brightness you can choose your brightness settings I've got it on max battery light so battery light pulse if battery low all that then going to notification light we get uh, this and it's default and use custom values and then going down we have rotation 0 90 180 and 270 degrees so we can go we got our orientation right here we can also go that way or we could go this way or we can go this way and we go back so that's also nice if you want to use your phone any way you want pressing the home button will wake up your device volume rock awake so if we just do that and if we go volume button it automatically wakes up so that's a nice touch going that way so that's it for the display side of things going to sound here you can configure it so you can have camera shutter sound a ringtone can be ascending so ringing start volume so we can enable that and it ringing starts so it keeps on going like that and then you can go lock volume keys media control safe headset volume so it prevents loud volume levels when headset is plugged in here volume adjustment sound the volume panel style is expandable also you got volume rock and music control so pressing the volume rock is like when you go holding it it will skip through your music tracks and what else um, going down we have a notification conversion we have less frequent notification sounds and vibrate during call and also alert when power is connected or disconnected as you can see also here we have a nice Google Play triangle symbol here it just fades in so it's very nice going into power menu so when power menu is basically this right here when you hold the power button so the power bo uh, that's the power menu so we have reboot menu airplane mode expanded desktop we can turn that hide status bar when we have expanded desktop on so basically this is what expanded that desktop does <coughs> profile switch is disabled on lock screen always show you can go there also screenshot and sound panel are there so moving on to Wi-Fi we can choose the region code and we can also choose the priority of Wi-Fi which ones you want when you're connecting we got a miscellaneous LCD density you can choose what we on but that's through uh, the exposed frame uh, framework you can choose that tablet dual panel mode also alternate default app grid custom carrier label you can choose that to add a carrier label recent RAM bar also low battery warning moving down we get the halo settings this is from paranoid android so basically an application shows up 
when you enable Halo, so a Halo is specially designed to work on Paranoid Android ROMs, you might not be able to experience the full potential of that. So wait, go back. Yeah, that's Paranoid. Uh, that's the Halo ROM, uh, Halo Future for this ROM. Moving on to status bar, we can choose the background style of the status bar. So yeah, you can have the color of the status bar. You go that way. Wait, let's just expand the desktop. Let's enable. So disable, you see it's red now. Also, you have a transparency if you want. So it blends in with your device. That's always nice. We can choose up and down. This is like kind of like AOKP. It gives you a master control of what you can do. We also have a battery icon and battery star. So we can have an icon here or we can have a percentage, I like percentage. We have also auto hide status bar when it's not working or just when it's on notifications, brightness control and sneak peek from top edge of the screen. And so like, basically, I think this might work. If we go to expand the desktop, we can like sneak preview it. So that's very nice. And let's just turn expand the desktop off. Going to notification drawer, we can choose the notification drawer style if you want it fully transparent or if you want it zero transparent so it's fully black. Also, you can choose the row transparency only, so that's very nice. Moving on to power widget, you see this is the power widget right here, shows Wi Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, and sound off. You can have hap haptic feedback and brightness slider location to show or not show. Also, you got your quick settings panel, which is this right here. We can choose to a quick pull down. We can go right there, quick pull down without notifications. Also, quick setting style tiles and layouts. We can choose add. We can add how much we want. So that you get that level of customizability. And moving down, you can always show setting button, notification behavior, and show Wi-Fi network name. Also, you got breathing SMS. So when you get an SMS or miss, miss call there, it'll like breathe so slowly. So you get, it's like stat, it's not static. So that's nice. Uh, clock, you can configure, configure the signage and mod clock. Going to per app DPI settings, you can choose if you want them big or not. So if we go, let's just go um browser you can choose the settings for that so that's very nice lock screen you get your screen security widget so if you want the camera widget to be enabled disable usability hits starts maximize enable portrait widget carousel so that's for that slider targets you can choose what you want when you go there you can choose an application or a widget or some nice controls for your preference so moving on, we get the enable eight slider target, short, cut, long press. You also have allow lock screen rotation. So when you tap that, let's just lock the phone. And when we go here, you can lock screen like that. So you get a rotation of your lock screen. So it looks like a tablet now. That's also very nice. So basically going there, battery status is only when charging and always on. When you go to button actions, you can go long press back button. We'll go to the next song and previous song. So that's also nice. Going to widgets view pager, you can go note, add your custom widget view pager. You can choose what widgets, your view paper style and how you want it. That's very nice. Navigation bar, you can turn this on. So basically you get a, not a, you get a bar right here. So here's your navigation bar. Turn that on and off to your will. That's that's what I like actually. In some ROMs it's always permanent and you don't get a setting to turn it on and off. Also you have Pi Control, so when you enable that, so you show always, you can go, um, where is it? Triggering from, oh, okay, it's from there. So when you enable it, you get the Pi Control right here. Very, very nice, you get a plethora of settings right there. So let's go to Pi Control and turn that off, disabled. And then going to hardware keys, we get the custom actions. So if you want the back key to do what you want, so that's also nice. You get the keyboard and input method, so you can choose your rotation of your keyboard. So that's it for the interface. When you go to profiles, you can choose your home night style and can work. Going back, we go to performance. You can choose the CPU governor, and that's like pretty normal for all the phones. You can choose whatever you want. Going to device, you get the enable HSDPA screen, haptic, LCD fading, all that cool stuff. 
Also, in these apps are basically very nice as they are themed, so it's a very dark theme to your application, which are stock in Android. So that's it for the review, guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then, goodbye. Thank you.